Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to ask you to imagine going into a safe space in your mind. Now some people don't like the term safe space. So if you don't like that term, use something else. I just like the idea of um, and I have this place in my head, in my mind, that I've gone to for years. And quite often it's during like a meditation that I'll go there. or um, And the connotation, I think, is to do with maybe someone going to a safe space when something bad is happening. That's not what I'm talking about here. Okay, so I want to be very clear. This isn't dissociation. This isn't, um, you know, it's not distraction. It's not taking yourself away from what's actually happening in the moment. This is part of what's happening in the moment. This is now, okay? So this is a safe recording. It's got no connotations, no overturns, tunes or whatever. It's just about going inside and being very calm, having a very, very calm mind. You're still in touch with reality. You're not moving away from the world. Um, some of the benefits... If, for example, someone has chronic pain, you know, when they go inside and they're in this safe space, they can leave whatever you want to leave behind. So you're still in touch with now. You're still in the moment. If anything, you're more in touch with how you're feeling and the moment than perhaps you would normally be. So it's a focus. But at the same time, when you enter that space, you can choose what you leave outside the door. So for example, I've got lower back arthritis. So I've got arthritis in my lower back. If I choose, I can leave that outside the door so when I step inside that safe space I can just relax and not have to think about or even concern myself or feel that discomfort that is you know pretty much with me most of the time in my lower back to various degrees. So there's nothing strange about having a safe space or a safe room in your mind. It's a nice thing, it's a positive thing. It's almost a state of mind. It's a, uh, you, you change how you feel. You go inward with that focus and you move away from the trivial. You move away from the mundane things of the world. You move away from stuff that maybe you've been worrying about whether 
legitimately or unnecessarily. You can leave that stuff outside the door of this safe space. And the idea really, well for me, the idea is the more often you go there, you can start to expand that space. So there's more, more of it to the point where you can feel safe most of the time, if not all of the time. Because, you know, it's, you get into some water, you come out, you still got some of that water on you. When you go into that safe space, you come out, you still still got some of that safety, some of that safe feeling, that emotion connected with that letting go of everything, not worrying about anything, and feeling completely peaceful, stays with you. And it's a nice feeling. Now you may already have a safe space. You may already have a place that you go to in your mind where, you know, you just close your eyes and maybe instantly you can be there. Instantly. Because it's not a physical space, it's in your mind, it's not, it's not made of anything. It's more a feeling. Or you, you may even say lack of feeling. Because there's a lot less emotional stuff going on when you're in that space. Because ultimately space is made of nothing, is it? I know it's atoms and energy and stuff, but ultimately space is just an empty place. And that's what we need. We need to have more time experiencing that emptiness where there's nothing going on. There's no worrying, there's no concern, there's no chatter, no internal dialogue, telling yourself off, no anger, no regrets. Just peace. And there's lots of play, lots of ways that you can get this feeling doesn't have to just involve going inside your mind to a specific place and ultimately it's just a feeling you go inside your mind to that feeling and you feel that sense of safety you feel that self that sense of calmness where there's not really anything else going on So ultimately, it really is just a feeling. It's not a big old building or anything. Of course, you can, if you choose, have it be a room with things in it. And you could build upon it and extend it, etc. But just for the sake of this recording, let's just say it's a feeling. And we've all had, at some point, that feeling of just, whew, you know, the feeling where you just, you 
just let go of everything. There's nothing going on. Maybe you've accomplished something, you've finished uh, a project or you've you just got home from work or perhaps you've sorted out a problem, maybe financial or relationship wise, you know, something's accomplished. Or maybe it's been a difficult situation and now it's over, you got to the end of it. And you don't have to deal with that anymore. And you just breathe out. And you notice your breathing. You're not controlling your breathing or your breath. But it's almost like your lungs open up. Mm. And when you breathe out, it feels nice. It just feels really nice. To be in that space of peace. To be in that space where You don't need to be anybody. You don't have to help anybody. You don't need anybody's help. You don't have to put on a, a front. You know, you don't have to be strong. Or you don't have to pretend to know what you're doing. Even if you do know what you're doing, sometimes we feel that we're pretending. Sometimes we feel that we have to put on a a mask sometimes not everyone but some people to be able to have that space where even putting on a like a mask of I'm okay when perhaps you weren't it's nice to just drop that on the floor. And you just relax. Because then, ironically, you start to feel okay. There's something about, you know, if we push something away, it feels stronger. And if we hold on to something, it tries to get away. But when you stop pushing something away, stop trying to keep that feeling, that unpleasant feeling away, when it does come, it's not as bad as what you thought it would be. It doesn't have that pressure or that strength. Because all feelings, whether pleasant or unpleasant, they come and go. So you can't hold on to it, you can't keep it with you. But at the same time, you can't keep it away. Unpleasant feelings come, and then they leave. Pleasant feelings come, and then they leave. This safe space is almost gives you a break from that. gives you a break from that trying to push stuff away try to hold on to nice feelings being concerned about what other people think maybe being concerned about what you think because no thinking is important right now literally nothing matters in this moment of course it matters after the recording and it mattered before the recording perhaps but right now in this moment nothing has to matter nothing's important all this is is just me and you 
and you can just let go. Just let go. Just experience the physical sensations that are occurring in your body right now. Just allow them to be there. It's fine. And if there's a physical sensation that you don't want, kick it out of the room. Stick it outside the door. Be aware of that emotional feeling. And you may have noticed that through the last 15 minutes that your mind has started to slow down. And that wasn't your aim. We didn't do anything to get your mind to slow down. There was no kind of technique or anything. Because as you relax, as you allow yourself to just be in this moment, you start to notice that your natural state of being is often relaxed. Because when you think about it, we were born with the ability to relax deeply and to sleep easily. Just in the same way as the weather comes and goes. Today I've had snow twice. It's snowing again outside. It was snowing earlier. It's windy. It's been sunny. I've had about four different seasons today. That's part of living in England. Just like with our minds, we have different feelings, different emotions come in and go in sometimes our minds are full of stuff other times they slow down when you're not trying to hold on to thoughts or you're not trying to push thoughts away your mind just allows the thoughts to come and go like clouds relaxes deeply calm can feel that peaceful feeling. You know, sometimes it feels like a real separation between my mind and my body. But right now, it feels just the same. Things quiet. I'd like you to focus on this feeling, just the feeling you've got. Because next time you choose to come back to this safe space. That's all it is really, it's just a feeling. Just search for that feeling and it'll be there instantly.
And you can just sit with that feeling. Or lie down. And you can enjoy the experience. Just being. Just being. And if you're listening or watching on YouTube, there'll be versions of this recording with music on my podcasts. Going for up to 10 hours. And you can stay with that feeling for as long as you choose. As long as you choose. 